When Jackass Forever premieres in theaters on February 4th, it will mark the fourth movie in the Jackass franchise and the first since 2010's Jackass 3D. As usual, it will feature wall-to-wall death-defying stunts and gross-out gags. Without getting into spoilers, this new film should give Jackass fans everything they love and more. One way the movie will be different than its predecessors is that the main cast has gotten bigger. Even better, some famous faces will be showing up, including musician Machine Gun Kelly and comedian Eric Andre. It makes sense that Jackass is adding some new blood, given how much has already been spilled over the years. Many of the stars are now firmly middle-aged, and the toll on their bodies is more and more difficult to shake off. In Johnny Knoxville's case, one stunt from Jackass Forever convinced him to hang up the vans, at least for now. Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville! Welcome to Jackass! Knoxville spoke about the stunt in a new interview with Variety. While he didn't get into specifics for spoiler reasons, the stunt involved doing a magic trick in a bullring. He explained, I wanted to prank an animal, and that's what we came up with. The bull wasn't amused and plowed into him, flipping him over and knocking him out cold. A preview of the stunning moment is featured in the latest trailer for the upcoming movie to boot. Jackass Forever director Jeff Tremaine said of Knoxville, He was snoring for three or four minutes. It was gnarly. The bull did not appreciate it and just absolutely smoked me worse than I've ever got smoked in my life by a bull. According to the publication, paramedics arrived and loaded Knoxville into the ambulance. When they asked him who the president was, Knoxville replied, Obama, which was unfortunately incorrect given that filming occurred in December 2020. He then joked to Variety, maybe because that's who I was wishing for, please, please Obama. Knoxville is no stranger to injuries, but even for him, the damage was pretty severe. A broken wrist, a broken rib, a concussion, and a brain hemorrhage. When asked whether it was his first hemorrhage, he couldn't remember. After leaving the hospital, the jackass ringleader worked with a neurologist to recover his cognitive skills, which took about three months. In the meantime, Jackass Forever producers in Knoxville agreed to scrap the rest of the stunts planned for the film. Knoxville noted that the thought of putting himself back in harm's way was no longer an option. He went on to say, My family doesn't like me doing this type of thing. This is the most wicked bull hit I've ever taken. It's arguably for the best that Johnny Knoxville is moving away from performing stunts. Electrocution is so-so. I uh, had a blowout fracture in my left eye on a stunt where my eye popped out. The bull stunt in the upcoming Jackass Forever feature is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to stunts the star has put himself through for the sake of good entertainment value. And although fans have no doubt enjoyed watching Knoxville test his limits on camera, he certainly paid the price for doing so from a physical standpoint. Can you feel my heart? <laughs> wow! In September 2021, Nova Legal Funding put together a list of the cost of medical treatments necessary to treat a variety of serious injuries Knoxville has sustained over the years on Jackass. According to the group's estimations on their sites, Knoxville has had somewhere in the neighborhood of $25,000 worth of hand stitches. Additionally, $30,000 has been spent on face stitches. His crotch injuries have cost a total of roughly $120,000, and the broken hand and rib injuries have racked up approximately $200,000 in medical bills, respectively. Among the more exotic and costly injuries Nova Legal Funding included in their list was an alligator bite that they say cost Knoxville $100,000 to care for, as well as a brain hemorrhage, which the Jackass star potentially spent upwards of $2 million to treat. When you add these to a whole slew of other injuries he sustained, Knoxville is estimated to have paid nearly $8.7 million to put himself back together. Good times. With all of his injuries, including that wicked Jackass Forever bull stunt behind him, Knoxville sounds like he's more than ready to watch his friends go to the extreme from the sidelines. While speaking with Variety, he declared, I've done enough. I don't have anything to prove. I have kids to raise. That's the most important thing. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.